I'm going to start today's video off with a quote. Our potential is one thing. What we do with it is quite another. Angela Duckworth. Natural talent, hard work, passion, and grit. Which character trait has the strongest correlation to success? Let's discuss this in further details. Hey guys, welcome to Creative, where we help athletes, sports marketers, and those athletic business owners learn how to build those lasting legacies beyond the game. Every Tuesdays and Thursdays, we talk about solutions that can truly change the business of sports. Today, we're discussing the one thing you need to be successful, grit. We'd love for you to tackle that subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on anything in the future. There's only one thing you need to be successful, grit. Let me explain. One common thread has been going around the internet for the last few years, and that is hustle culture. That is the ability to work 80 hour weeks and work extremely hard to achieve what you want. The thing with hustle culture is that it relies on you doing all of the work. It can vary and most of the time it can lead to burnout. Today, I want to go through a book that has changed my life as a business owner. It's a book that our team at Creative is introducing within our target market, our upcoming courses, and the internal company culture that we're trying to bring as an internal agency. That book is Grit by Angela Duckworth. Let's start off by talking about the common thread, natural talent. First off, I want to talk about passion versus natural talent. Many people assume when they see athletes and successful people such as Tom Brady playing the game that it's all just their talent. They just made it there because they slid through life on scholarships and went to practice every day and then they became rich. That's not true at all. And one thing that Duckworth mentions within her book is the idea that regular individuals who exercise self-control and perseverance can reach as high a level as those who are naturally talented. She explains that mindset is as important as your mind itself. If we were to take a look at the entertainment world and some of the successful actors out there, you would notice that many of these actors are pretty talented, but the talent wasn't what got them to where they are. It was their perseverance. These individuals take their skill and practice to be better than the person next to them. They set goals and overall KPIs for their future and consider why they're doing what they're doing. It can help them take a step back and organize their life to allow them to take their talent and make it successful. So if it's not hustle culture, what is it? Well, hard work and practice do really pay off. So going off the natural talent that we discussed, hard work and practice are still a large portion of grit. It's very similar to hustle culture and what individuals are trying to achieve with your need to work hard to achieve your success. I believe that a grit culture is about working smart and practicing smart to persevere past pain points. During inevitable plateaus, knowing that you're still achieving small circumstances or small KPIs that relate to your overall goal helps you strive past the small hurdles and failures that you may find yourself in and motivate you to continue on your passion towards that greater why, passion and opportunities. 
Well, grit culture is about finding your talent within your passion and setting an overall goal. This is similar to a business plan or a marketing plan. You just have to understand that the things that you're doing within your business are opportunities for you to reach your end goal. You need to be considerate of that and make sure that you're not missing out on opportunities that help you reach your end goal. I'm going to come up with a hypothetical person. I'm going to call this person Athlete Z. Athlete Z is, let's say, in their first year of college and they still don't know their why. They haven't decided what they wanna do with the rest of their lives. One thing they do know is that they wanna be a professional athlete. Now what happens is one of two things. Either Athlete Z is that 1% that makes it into the professional league or they don't make it and must take their degree and go out and try to make something of themselves. Either way, Athlete Z gets put into a position where they may not know what they want to do with the rest of their lives, either after being a professional athlete or once they don't make it professionally. If we look back on grit culture, we can say that if Athlete Z took the time to sit down and think about their why, what kind of audience they wanted to help as they continue to grow, and what their legacy might look like, the sky's the limit. I'm not saying grit is some simplistic metric that will get you to your why. Your why can change over time, but if you're passionate and motivated towards a particular angle, then the way you get to your end goal doesn't necessarily have to look the same. When you look back at your five year, three year, or 10 year goals, those may shift. For instance, athlete Z may be very passionate about helping animals. Does this mean that he becomes a veterinarian when he retires from a sport? Does this mean that he creates a nonprofit around helping endangered species? Who knows? But what it does mean is that he's allowed to shift and taper his goals towards his original passion beyond athletics. Again, I really appreciate you guys coming on the channel and we hoped you loved today's video. If you want to learn more about great solutions that can really change the game, don't forget to tackle that subscribe button and give us a like. It really helps out the channel. Now, this is Zach with Creative, where business is our sport.